DVD Era TV back at y'all with another one. Y'all know the slogan. Today we're going to talk about the time Prodigy supposedly knocked out Memphis Bleak. Now let's get into it. Mixtapes and DVDs is my era. Facts. We did it better. Yep. Pelly Pelly Leathers. Facts. ACG Boots. Uh. We 80s babies. Ooh. In early 90s, when it got grimy. I was out of this world, you could not find me. Unless you checked the lobby. Hustling was my hobby. We was lobby boys yep. before Jim Jones. You could catch me at Harlem eating Jim Bones. Now, Memphis Bleak is known for being one of the most loyalist guys in hip-hop. Other than Tony Yayo, Memphis Bleak is known to show Jay-Z the utmost respect, the guy responsible for his music career. Now, Memphis Bleak was on front line for several beefs Jay-Z had, from his beef with Terror Squad, Nas, and Dipset, just to name a few. Now, it's said during the whole beef with Mob Deep and Jay-Z that Memphis Bleak was involved with a physical altercation with Prodigy. Now, supposedly, Memphis Bleak and Prodigy had to sit down during the whole Rockefeller and Mob Deep beef to squash things, but things got heated, and it led to Memphis Bleak being knocked out by Prodigy. Now, I'm going to get into an article that explains everything that happened that night between Memphis Bleak and Prodigy. Now, this article is from Calm the Hip Hop Scholar Home. Not a very popular website, but let's get into it. It says Prodigy explains two separate situations back in 2001 that he had with Rockefeller in his book, My Infamous Life. The first situation was about how E Moneybags had beef with Jay Z because at the time that the Rockefeller crew had did their freestyles, they noticed a rapper H Moneybags who ran with the Rockefeller crew who had an identical name to E Moneybags. Prodigy called into the radio station to catch jay-z he hands over the phone to e money bags and they start arguing over the fact that jay-z has someone running his crew with an almost identical name to e money bags also prodigy and memphis bleak had a sit down at a restaurant to try to squash the beef and animosity between the two camps but they ended up getting in the fight now this part right here is supposed to be in on prodigy's book and this is what it says. It says, Bleak told me he wasn't feeling how E Money Bags was talking to Hove on the phone. So I told Bleak I wasn't feeling how he talking my mans down. Bleak and his dudes tried to gang up on me. One of them threw a punch, but I caught that and knocked him out cold with one punch. Bleak and his other dudes started throwing fists, but I ducked both of them and knocked both of them out with one punch each too. Let me get this right. Bleak got knocked out by Prodigy along with two of his homeboys with one hit. During the altercation, I don't believe this. I don't believe. I don't even believe this is in Prodigy book. Honestly, I um heard Prodigy book a couple times, not the whole book, and I read a lot of the book. Now, um, I didn't run across this chapter, and I feel like if this was in his book, this would be one of the more popular stories. You get what I'm saying? This would be something that people would be talking about, and I didn't hear about this really. I'm not gonna lie, but if you're familiar with the whole book and you read the whole book and heard the whole book. Get in the comment section and let me know about this story. But I just can't see that. No disrespect to Prodigy. I got a lot of respect for Prodigy. But I don't think he could just knock Memphis Bleak out along with two of his guys. Now, don't get me wrong. If this did happen in 2001, it definitely could have went down. And we just never heard of it. Because back then, a lot was going on in them streets in the early 2000s. A lot of people was running down on each other, getting it popping. And we went and had nothing about it because it wasn't social media then like it is now. So a lot of things went unheard of and stuff like that. You'll just head through a song if they mention it on a song or maybe in a magazine or whatever the case may have you. Now, like I said, I heard a lot of Prodigy book and I even read a little of Prodigy book, but I never ran across this story. So get in that comment section if you ran across this story so we could fact check it. And like I said, anyway, a lot of stuff in Prodigy book people say wasn't really legit anyway. So tell me what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. More content coming. I'm out. One.